guys, welcome back. This is gonna be Bubbles Restore Part 5. Um, I liked how the Solar Fox cabinet turned out with the Valspar cabinet paint, so I went and had blue mixed up for this uh, Bubbles, because it's just gonna be easier for me to use a paintbrush and get around these circles than it is for me to try to tape them all off. Um, I also picked up a quart of white, same stuff in white, and everything I'm using is a satin interior exterior that's what it is um i'm going to touch up the white first so i'm going to go ahead and touch up all the white areas and then um a little bit of the teal maybe um it doesn't need much the little bubbles at the bottom are all in really good shape so i'm not going to mess with the bubbles on the bottom i'm just going to work on these bigger ones that have definitely some uh stuff going on with them so i'm going to go grab a paintbrush um probably gonna need a little one as well. And I wanna start working on these bubbles. This is gonna be a two day paint job because uh, I'll probably just do the white tonight. Um, then tomorrow I could touch up any of the teal that I wanna touch up and then um, do the blue after that. So let me go grab some paint brushes and we'll start uh, seeing how this, I don't even know how this white's gonna cover. I haven't tried white yet. And I also have a quart of black for the black areas. Okay, let me get this paint opened up. Um, I think the reason why this paint works so good on the Solar Fox cabinet and why it's probably going to work good on here is there's wood grain. You can see the wood grain through the paint. So it kind of keeps the wood grain um, when you paint it. And by having the wood grain, it kind of distracts from any little bit of like orange peel from the roller. So it actually works out pretty good. Um, I'm definitely going to, you know, still automotive paint my games, but for these couple, um, without having to do a tremendous amount of work and uh, have to uh, try to tape everything off and spray it, this is definitely the easier way to go on these couple of cabinets. Let's try this one first. Yeah, it looks like it's going to cover pretty good. Definitely going to take some time, though. And it does level out pretty good, the brush strokes. I'm hoping to just do one coat of white. I don't like this brush. It's like a plastic type feeling. Let me go grab a different one. Okay, this one's a little better. Yep, works way better. Those other bristles are really, really stiff. Now I'm hoping to only do one coat because I don't really need to, it doesn't need to be covered perfectly. I don't mind seeing some of the originality through it, you know? Just want to get rid of some of the big marks. And the good thing about this paint is you can take your finger and kind of rub it off of another surface that you get it on as long as you do it right away. And by only doing one coat, it's kind of uh, bringing out that original kind of like the little bit of a dirty white color underneath. which I think that's pretty good right there with just one coat. You can see it on his forehead area. You can see how it just kind of cleans it up enough to make it look presentable, you know? Once again, if the bottom of this cabinet wasn't all chewed up like the Solar Fox, I would have probably just left this alone. But since I'm into it, might as well clean it up a little bit. Just definitely going to take a while. I'm not going to record the whole thing because you'll be very bored after a couple minutes here.
basically no different than uh, like a coloring book staying in the lines, you know. Trying to run my brush strokes with the wood grain as much as possible. Okay, I'm gonna work on, I'll probably come back after I get this bubble done and then I'll go on to the next one. That's the first coat on the big guy there. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do two coats. <clears throat> and while I'm painting this, I was thinking, all these little cracks in this plywood, this paint is literally just soaking right in. It's drying so quick. I haven't done that area right there yet, but it's drying so fast. You're supposed to wait four hours between coats, but it's like you can almost put another coat on right away. It's soaking in. So it's probably a good thing that I'm doing this because if I don't, over time, it's just gonna get worse. It's just gonna keep, moisture is gonna keep getting in there. It's gonna keep opening up. It's gonna keep raising the grain worse and worse until it just ruins the side of the cabinet or at least peels a veneer off and then you're bondoing it all and um, you know repainting it with stencils and everything else. At least this way, I'm able to preserve the original art. Yes, I am painting over it, but it's still the original stencils that were sprayed on the cabinet. So I'm gonna keep going at it for a little bit and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I'm not gonna film too much of this because this is gonna take hours to do two coats on each side. So give me a little bit, I'll come back and we'll see what it's looking like. Okay, you can clearly see the difference. Now, I did a second coat just on like this part of his face to see, and I'm definitely gonna do two coats because if you look up close, it's filling in all these cracks. See, this has one coat on it, but the cracks are still opened up. This has two coats on it. So if you stand back here, you can tell that I've done this bubble, this one, the Williams, part of that one. I haven't touched that one. So you can see the difference. I think what happened with the white paint is you can see there's like a bunch of like imperfections and stuff like that. I think what happened was when I stripped the black paint, it, it kind of like dyed the white, like a yellowish color. So um, this is definitely gonna take a while to do this, but it's gonna definitely be worth it when it's done, I think. Um, I mean, that just, you can see where I haven't gotten a second coat yet over on this side, but you can just see the difference how uh, nice and uh, vibrant it looks and everything. I mean, look at this, how dirty that one is. And this one's pretty bad. You can see, like there's even like stuff still stuck that won't come off and I'm afraid to scrape it and, you know, dig into the wood. And then this is the blue paint I got. I just put a dab on there, it's drying right now. It's actually gonna dry probably about the perfect color. So I guess I'm not really gonna call this part five. We'll just call this an update. Um, I'm not going to video me doing any of the white painting. I'm going to go ahead, take my time. I'm going to quit for tonight because I got to get up at 530 and that comes quick. So, um, I'm going to stop here. I'll get all the white bubbles done in the next day or two. And then we'll do a video on the blue paint and stuff like, and the black and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, this is just a quick update on the bubbles. It is so slowly coming along. And um, I will see you guys later.